Okay, so welcome friends. Um, today we are going to discuss very important uh, one of the core subject of your mechanical engineering diploma um, uh, diplomas that is third semester subject and that is nothing but the thermodynamics. Very important subject, one of the foundation subject. Um, uh, uh, all the further subjects which are coming in the further semesters like power engineering, RACR, uh, definitely uh, depends or correlates with this thermodynamics. So very, uh, one of the foundation course, uh, uh, this subject is one of the foundation, uh, rather I can say the subject in your program. So uh, program is nothing but you are in your diploma uh, duration. Now, uh, uh, let's begin the journey of this thermodynamics. Uh, so, uh, before going ahead, uh, let me introduce myself. I am Amol Bhure, uh, lecturer in Mechanical Engineering Department of PL Government Polytechnic. And uh, today we are going to focus on the first unit uh, of, your, uh, th of your thermodynamic subject, that is nothing but the fundamentals of thermodynamics. So, we are uh, limiting our discussion towards the basic uh, ABCD of thermodynamics in today's lecture that is uh, you can say one of the focus uh, of today's lecture now before going ahead uh, uh, let me um, uh, introduce to you um, one of the you know new um, uh, newly or not newly or i can say that is redefined vision of our institute uh, we are um, uh, you know um, uh, we are recently applied for the accreditation process national nba uh, National Board of Accreditation, that is nothing but the NBA, and uh, uh, we are in the process of accreditation. And in this process, we had defined the vision of the, our institute. Uh, so, uh, the, let me uh, give the statement for our vision of the institute is to provide the skill based quality technical education for students to become competitive diploma engineers to meet the latest technological and industrial need for the socio-economic development of the society. So basically we are giving you a quality education and we want to make such, uh, you can say the workforce uh, which are globally expect, uh, which are globally expected uh, uh, and uh, we are, uh, uh, which is committed for the, uh, you can say, social and economic development of the, our society and the nation. Uh, so that is nothing but the very broad vision of our um, institute and to achieve this vision our institute had decided some pathways that is nothing but the mission of the institute uh, here uh, the first mission to achieve that vision is to provide multidisciplinary engineers having quality conscious and knowledge of standard operating procedure my dear friends this is very important aspects of today's competitive world. You should have multidisciplinary approach. When you are working in the company, you should know uh, the require. You should able to comprehend the requirements of other department, like electrical engineer. Being a mechanical engineer, you should understand what what is expected for the electrical engineer. How can I provide the different types of provisions when I'm designing some uh, layout of any industry? How can I accommodate the cable layout for that example? So that is nothing but a very broader aspect we are discussing here. And that is one of the pathway to achieve our vision that to have multidisciplinary approach. Also that is very important is you should have the knowledge of uh, basic uh, well-defined activities or you can say the rather standard operating procedures. So how, how you will carry out different the operations using the mechanical equipments that you should know. So that is one of the important uh, pathway that is mission to uh, achieve the vision of our institute, rather I can say the goal of our institute. Then to develop proactive personality uh, to help the industry and society is nothing but to your holistic development. We want, we don't want only uh, uh, the only the engineers which are good in the theoretical knowledge, but they should have all around personality. They should, uh, you know, proactive um, uh, to respond any type of uh, situations uh, coming like uh, suppose in this uh, pandemic like Corona uh, 
we have now corona pandemic uh, running so uh, you should be proactive we want to create such workforce which will uh, proactively uh, give solutions to this pandemic problem also so that is uh, nothing but the you can say the holistic development for this purpose we are organizing different cultural events then uh, different sports events all and, and so we are adding different other dimensions uh, to develop your personality uh, or to have your holistic development then in line with this vision and mission of the institute you know, we have uh, defined department that is mechanical department vision uh, to develop competent mechanical engineers to cope up with the modern technologies or should, they should able to know uh, and operate the modern technologies and which which in turn fulfills the need of the industry and society and if you see the in line with this uh, department vision we have defined the pathways uh, to achieve this vision that is strengthening the academic with the improved student centered teaching learning methods that we are going to implement we are going to implement um, the micro projects in all the subjects as per the i scheme and then we are going to um, uh, have uh, different swayam local chapter uh, that is one of the uh, student centered activity where you can uh, enroll for the different mooc that is massive online open courses currently swayam registration is on you can enroll for the different courses uh, uh, which are eight week four week courses which are where um, um, you can uh, do online study which is required in this condition so all these uh, different initiatives we have started then uh, we are offering the quality education to produce technical manpower uh, through in industry institute uh, interaction um, we generally carried out um, uh, institute uh, you know interaction annually in this uh, uh, in this premises we have very strong alumni base from the industry we are continuously in touch with them to improve our academics and to help you in a different ways um, through the scholarships also and then uh, also uh, at the end of this year uh, that is after the second year we are organizing the summer internship program as per the msbt guidelines so uh, there you can have the realistic uh, exposure to the industry problems and where you can actually apply uh, to apply all your core knowledge and all your basic knowledge that you had acquired throughout this uh, throughout this journey so uh, then we have then we are in calculating the professional ethics and values among the student um, uh, uh, and it has a concern with the uh, society and the environment um, uh, now we are uh, organizing tree plantation drive uh, in line with the government uh, guidelines so we are definitely want to accommodate you in this tree plantation drive uh, also we are uh, organizing different uh, poster competition different events where based on the protection of the environment how we can improve our uh, uh, consciousness towards the in environment so that is all our our missions to the department to achieve the vision so this is one of the slide that i would like to discuss uh, freshly which is the fresh beginning for us in this semester now we'll, uh, now let's start the journey of the thermodynamics and Uh, uh, in today's lecture, we are focusing on our first unit and uh, the CEO of that is nothing but the course outcome. What is the intended uh, uh, or you can say the expected output from this first unit uh, is the apply the law of thermodynamics to the device based on the thermodynamics. So, in this first unit, we are going to study what are the different types of uh, thermodynamic system. what are different laws of thermodynamics uh, thermodynamics that is the basic law which are very important which are very uh, you can say universal in nature and also what is mean by thermodynamics that is our first um, uh, point of discussion today so we are going to start with that and there are some uh, intended uh, session outcomes or the unit outcomes um, uh, the first two are determining the properties of the given Uh, sub substance using the thermodynamic table and also explain the phenomena of thermodynamic principle applied to the different conditions of the gas so rest two uh, that is 3 and 4 we are going to discuss in our further uh, video lecture now 
let's start what is the thermodynamics so let's start with this slide that is what is the thermodynamics thermodynamics manje nemke kay थर्मोडायनामिक्स हा जो शब्द बगितला तो दोन शब्दापासून तयार झालेला आहे फर्स्ट वन इज थर्मो दुसरा आहे डायनामिक्स डायनामिक्स हा वर्ड तुम्ही ऑलरेडी अप्लाइड मेकॅनिक्स या तुमच्या लास्ट इयरच्या सेमिस्टरमध्ये या सब्जेक्टमध्ये गेलेला आहे थर्मो म्हणजे जर आपण थर्मो हा शब्द बघितला तर इट इज रिलेटेड टू द टेम्परेचर ऑर आय कॅन से दीट सो थर्मल हा शब्द जर आपण डे टू डे लाईफमध्ये बघितला तर आपण थर्मल पॉवर स्टेशन हा शब्द नेहमी आतापर्यंत ऐकत आलेला आहे जवळपास आपल्या जर आपल्या जवळ बघायला गेलं तर परळी इथे थर्मल पॉवर स्टेशन आहे सो दिस थर्मो इज नथिंग बट रिलेटेड टू अस द हीट सो हीट इज नथिंग बट यू कॅन से द एनर्जी इट इज एनर्जी फॉर्म थ्रू विच एनर्जी नाव वी आर गोईंग टू ट्रान्सफर इन टू द वर्क वी आर गोईंग टू स्टडी दिस ट्रान्सफर डायनॅमिक इज नथिंग बट द ट्रान्सफर ऑफ द Uh, thermo is nothing but the heat so we are going to study about the transfer of the heat into the uh, useful form that is nothing but the work which which will uh, uh, you know drive our turbine here you can see this uh, one of the device that we are going to study in detail in our thermodynamics that is how turbine turbine is nothing but you take the example of fan ek prakar ka to fan hai ni to fan apan fironar ahe ya heat cha sahayane so that is nothing but the thermodynamics so again it depends upon the uh, energy conservation of energy principle that is nothing but the first law of the thermodynamics we will going to de- deal in detail once we come there now kutlya hi subject chi jar aplyala systematic study karaychi asel to we should know the language of that thermodynamics what is the language of this thermodynamics so thermodynamics is system level lang- language or you can say the system level science here we are defining some system and we are uh, we are going to study uh, that system how that system will behave under the different conditions uh, of temperature and pressure that what we are going to study so thermodynamics now uh, that is nothing but the transfer it is related to the interaction of the heat uh, through certain media to certain media if you see uh, this whole cycle which is applied in thermal power station if you see here what are the different devices here you can see the pump here you can see the boiler here you can see the turbine and condenser these are these different thermal devices now या सिस्टीममध्ये जर तुम्ही बघितलात तर याच्यामध्ये ही जी आपण ॲरो दाखवलेला आहे पिंक कलरचा याच्यामधून कुठला तरी फ्लुईड कुठला तरी वर्किंग मिडियम फ्लो होतं त्याला आपण म्हणतो वर्किंग सबस्टन्स वर्किंग सबस्टन्स म्हणजे काय की असा सबस्टन्स ज्याच्या थ्रू हीट आणि मास कॅरी आउट होते किंवा आपण असं म्हणू की ज्याच्या थ्रू एनर्जीचं ट्रान्सफॉर्मेशन होतं ज्याच्या थ्रू एनर्जी ट्रान्सफर होते दॅट इज नथिंग बट द मेडियम सो थ्रू दिस मेडियम एनर्जी इज गोईंग टू ट्रान्सफर अक्रॉस दिस बॉयलर दॅन टर्बाईन दॅन पंप दॅट इज नथिंग बट द वर्किंग मेडियम दॅन इज अनादर टर्म दॅट इज वर्किंग मेडियम ऑर सबस्टन्स अनादर टर्म इज द प्युअर सबस्टन्स वॉट इज द डिफरन्स बिटवीन वर्किंग सबस्टन्स अँड प्युअर सबस्टन्स प्युअर सबस्टन्स म्हणजे असा सबस्टन्स की ज्याचं केमिकल कॉम्पोजिशन हे युनिफॉर्म राहतं थ्रू आउट दॅट प्रोसेस अँड देर इज ऑल्सो नो चेंज इन फेज दोन गोष्टी आहेत एक आहे केमिकल फॉर्म्युला सपोज वॉटर इज देअर देन थ्रू आउट दिस प्रोसेस इफ वॉटर रिमेन्स इन अ सेम केमिकल कॉम्पोजिशन दॅट इज एच टू ओ अँड देर इज नो चेंज ऑफ वॉटर मीन्स वॉटर इज इफ इट इज इन लिक्विड फॉर्म इफ इट इज रिमेन थ्रू आउट दॅट process in the liquid form then we we will say it is a pure substance but in practical sense we don't have pure substance because in practical uh, examples we definitely deals with the phase change that is from water to liquid or sorry from water to gas or from solid to liquid so these are normal phase transfers which are occurring hence in real condition in real thermodynamic system there is only a working substance 
pure substance is a hypothetical concept it deals with the ideal gas or it is you can say very ideal conditions where there is no change in the phase and chemical formula then we are uh, calling this as a pure substance this is nothing but the language of thermodynamics then another important term in the thermodynamic that we are going to come across is the system now system is what is what is mean by system it is nothing but the region bounded by certain boundary we define maybe it is real boundary or imaginary boundary suppose for this example ithe apan ek bagu shakto ithe apan ek pot ghetlela ek banda ghetlela tyachyamadhe pani thevlela ani tyachyamadhe ek block apan taklela hai silver cha okay chandi cha block apan madhe taklela yellow color ne apan te dakhavlela tar this is nothing but the system what is mean by system it is nothing but a region of our interest where we are going to study the interaction of energy and mass now ita tumhi bagu shakta ya chandi cha tokra cha bahir pani ahe ani ya pani la apan ya case madhe surrounding mhanare like in our case air is surrounded to us so that is nothing but the surrounding and both this system and surrounding will form the universe that is nothing but the universe okay there uh, very simple uh, you know uh, definitions of this system surrounding and universe but this is this is one of the uh, you know systematic way of studying the uh, thermodynamics so it is a system level uh, science and we are going to study different system ata aplyala itun pude क्लासिक एक सिस्टमैटिक स्टडी कराई है तो अपने का लगे कि ये वेगवेगे टाइप्स कुछ ले सीस्टीम से अपने बढ़ाव लगे डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द विच टाइप ऑफ बाउंड्री दीज सीस्टीम्स आर क्लासिफाइड एज अ ओपन सीस्टीम क्लोज सीस्टीम एंड आइसोलेटेड सीस्टीम आता ओपन सीस्टीम कि एखादी जर बाउंड्री हि डिस्प्लेस होता कि तिथे का ओपनिंग आल Uh, like here is certain opening you can see where the mass uh, will come in and out of the system uh, such type of systems are known as open system closed system asha system ki jancha boundary fix hai boundary rigid hai te ajibat halat nahi pan apan energy in the form of heat apan madhe patu shakto for example you take the example of your silencer जेव गाड़ी अपन बंद करतो जर तुम्हें साइलेंसर हाथ लगे तुम्हारा गरम लगता तो हे अर्थ का मधली जी हीट है ती बाहर पड़त आते सो दो इट इज अ क्लोज फॉर्म दो इट इज हेज अ वन ओपनिंग बट सपोज इट इज अ क्लोज फॉर्म लाइक इंजिन ऑफ यू कैन से इंजिन ऑफ अवर टू व्हीलर दैट इज द क्लोज सीस्टीम देन वॉट इज मीन बाय आइसोलेटेड सीस्टीम वेन देर इज नो इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ मास एंड एनर्जी देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज आइसोलेटेड सो based on the interaction of mass and energy we have defined three basic type of uh, system that is open system closed system isolated system open system manje kay jechamade mass ani energy doni hi system madhe etat kiwa bahar jatat closed system madhe kay ki jechamade sagya boundary fix astat kutle hi mass madhe yet nahi kiwa bahar jat nahi फक्त एनर्जी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन होते हैं क्लोज सीस्टीम मन तो आइसोलेटेड मध्य नाइदर एनर्जी नॉर मास मास बाहर जो नहीं एनर्जी बाहर जो नहीं जी मधली एनर्जी है ती एज इट इज मधे रहते आइसोलेटेड सीस्टीम सो दीज आर वन ऑफ द थ्री इम्पॉर्टंट टाइप्स ऑफ सीस्टीम वन टाइप ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन यू कैन से फॉर द थर्मोडाइनामिक सीस्टीम नाउ हेर यू कैन सी दिस दिस इज वन ऑफ द एक्जाम्पल for the thermodynamic system that i had uh, taken from the google uh, that is nothing but the photo aerial view of our parali power station parali thermal power station you can see here this is how uh, diff, uh, how the area of the uh, thermal power station will look like uh, will look like from the you can say aerial view from the aeroplane or you can say from the satellite uh, here you can see these are the some big structure are there so these are nothing but the exhaust from uh, exhaust veil or you can say chimney in a uh, in a normal line in a layman language then you can see here uh, the cooling tower is here where the uh, uh, hot water is 
cooled and then supplied back to the uh, you can say boiler as a feed water uh, or towards the condenser uh, as a cooling water so this uh, cooling tower is located uh, generally in such uh, uh, such uh, position you have maximum wind so with the varya jast pramanat yu shakto asha paddhatine ya कूलिंग टावर च लोकेशन यू कैन सी द चिमनी और एक्सॉस्ट गैस आउटलेट जो दूर बाहर तो बाहर देन यू हैव टर्बाइन सेट्स जे छोटे छोटे ब्लॉक दिस आर नथिंग बट द टर्बाइन सेट देन दिस इज द बॉयलर हाउस सो दिज आर नथिंग बट द डिफरेंट थर्मोडाइनेमिक सिस्टम वेर मास एंड एनर्जी इंट्रैक्शन टेक्नेस सो आई वॉन्ट टू गिव दिज आर एक्साम्पल एंड ऑल दीज सिम दैट इज बॉयलर टर्बाइन एंड चिमनी i would like to ask this question and you you have to think in your mind these are the which type of system whether it is open system closed system or uh, isolated system here here is the question that i would like to ask boiler steam turbine condenser exchanger and nozzle compressor all these are the thermal equipment equipments across which uh, heat transfer into the form of work big uh, tech plus so all these are what type of system so these are all open system generally all the practical examples that we are coming across in this thermodynamic system if you take individually these systems uh, then these are the open system but if you take a whole cycle of all these equipment then it will be a closed system so uh, these are very important uh, uh, terminology in the thermodynamics what type of open systems what type of closed system now after studying the system now we will go in more detail and now we are going to study what are the properties of the system system manje ka hai ata apan bagitlele now we are going to see what are the properties properties manje ka these are nothing but the measurable characteristics very important word these are the you can say uh, a variables like x y z what we are turned uh, what we define in the mathematics such type of variables are nothing but the properties of the system but these are the measurable what are examples of properties of any system like temperature is uh, one of the property pressure which can be a measurable again it is a property volume mass all these are energy all these are measurables so these characteristics of the system are nothing but the properties now again we are going to uh, uh, do a detail study on these properties hence we are going to carry out the classification for the systematic study apan kay karto ki yancha classification karto so what is the criteria now uh, this classification there are multiple ways doing the classification of any system so what is uh, this way or this criteria of uh, uh, classifying the system into intensive and extensive uh, uh, properties of the system uh, uh, is the criteria here is the mass whether these properties are depend upon the mass then it is called extensive and if it is does not depend upon the mass then it is called as intensive properties for example we had taken some properties like mass volume temperature if you take first three properties that is mass volume temperature out of this mass whether the mass whether the mass depends upon mass yes so mass obviously depends upon the uh, its uh, matter content so that that is a extensive property ata lakshat kasa thevaycha extend to the extent apan asa mantu extend is nothing but the uh, लिमिट म्हणू आपण मॅटरचं लिमिट कितपर्यंत मॅटर अकुपाय केलेला आहे दॅट इज नथिंग बट द एक्सटेंड सो यू कॅन रिमेंबर इन दॅट वे द एक्सटेन्सिव्ह मीन्स इट डायरेक्टली डिपेंड्स अपॉन द मास अँड इंटेन्सिव्ह मीन्स इट डज नॉट डिपेंड अपॉन द मास देन अनदर प्रॉपर्टी इज प्रेशर व्हॉट इज द फॉर्म्युला ऑफ प्रेशर प्रेशर इज नथिंग बट द फोर्स दॅट इज नॉर्मल फोर्स अपॉन द युनिक एरिया सो फोर्स again depends upon the mass what is the definition of force is nothing but the mass into acceleration or mass into uh, acceleration due to gravity if it is weight so definitely pressure depends upon the mass hence pressure is a uh, you can say extensive property pressure is the extensive property and 
Uh, rho is the density is uh, again density is uh, uh, density and temperature both doesn't depends upon the uh, te uh, uh, sorry uh, density and uh, density and temperature both does not depend upon the mass hence these are the intensive properties so this is one of the basic classification of the properties of the system now there is another one of the uh, important term in the properties that is a specific property apan idun pude ya term cha across enar it like specific heat so that is one of the property and specific volume this is one of the important property of a thermodynamic system so jithe jithe specific shabd yeto tacha arth kay per unit mass so for example this is a specific volume means what it is a volume for unit kg of a unit kg of a mass eka kg 1 kg mass ne occupy kelele volume manje specific volume so whether this specific volume depends upon the mass actually it is the uh, mass is taken as a unity so it does not depend on the mass okay so if you see the its unit uh, to study any uh, property please remember to observe its unit from the unit we we, we will crystal clear about uh, about the uh, you know different uh, constituent of that formula so here is meter cube per kg so it does not depend directly on the mass to calculate that we should we require the mass but it does not depend upon the mass because it is a it is the property of unit mass eka kg cha lakshya gya eka kg cha te volume hai so it is a intensive property so when we take any specific property it becomes independent of mass and hence it is a intensive property now next important point that we are going to study after studying the properties okay we we had learned the properties now what are the important thermodynamic properties uh, that we can we, we will take into account ata itun pude apan veg vegya prakar che chart thermodynamic mane shiknare tya chart mane प्रेशर वॉल्यूम टेम्परेचर दीज आर कॉल्ड एज यू कैन से बेसिक थर्मोडायनामिक प्रॉपर्टीज और द फंडामेंटल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द थर्मोडायनामिक सो दीज आर द थ्री वेरिएबल्स पी वी टी लाइक एक्स वाई जेड कॉर्डिनेट्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी प्रेशर वॉल्यूम टेम्परेचर एज अ कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ अ थर्मोडायनामिक सिस्टीम जर आप एक ग्राफ का टेम्परेचर वॉल्यूम प्रेसर चाह त्या ग्राफ वर जर आपण सिस्टीम म्हणजे स्टेट आपण जाणून घेणार असेल तर त्या प्रॉपर्टीज ज्याच्या ज्याच्या वरून आपण ग्राफ बिल्ड अप करणार आहे त्याला आपण बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज म्हणू अँड दॅट इज नथिंग बट द प्रेशर व्हॉल्युम टेम्परेचर नाव एक्झॅक्टली आय एम कमिंग टू दॅट पॉईंट दॅट इज वॉट इज मीन बाय द स्टेट ऑफ द सिस्टीम प्रॉपर्टीज शिकल्यानंतर पुढचा पॉईंट आपल्याला शिकायचं वॉट इज मीन बाय स्टेट ऑफ द सिस्टीम now state is nothing but the set of properties that describe the condition of system for example if you want to define uh, uh, you can say um, if you, if you want to define uh, uh, let's say myself how i will uh, define in a scientific term like my weight is uh, you can say 72 kg my height is Uh, around 6 feet so these are nothing but the properties these are nothing but the properties similarly tashas prakare jar apan thermodynamic system jar apnyala define karayche asel ta apan asa manu ki ek system hai jacha pressure uh, for example jacha temp, uh, temperature 20 degree ahe jacha volume 1.5 meter cube hai pani ahe tya system mane tya paniyacha mass 2 kg ahe so this is nothing but the condition of the system we are defining through the properties so mass volume and temperature these are nothing but the properties so this is nothing but the state now if you plot the graph between volume and temperature if there is certain point comes where the volume is 1.5 and temperature is 20 that is nothing but the state of the system so state we can state of the thermodynamic system we can show on to the graph and this is nothing but the you can say statement when the, and suppose we will now we will change the temperature of the system apan yala heat karu uh, heat kelyanantar suppose 
uh, its uh, temperature which changes suppose in this t2 temperature increases is, uh, instead of 20 suppose it is a, a 40 degrees celsius and its volume also increases then this becomes state 2 the, the, the point graph was shift away. so state is nothing but a set of properties set of you can say pressure volume temperature yachavarun apan ekadya thermodynamic system chi state sangu shakto now uh, again uh, if you now if you understand the concept of state that is nothing but uh, you can say point on a pvt graph uh, graph which instead of x y z we take the uh, axis as a pressure volume temperature yach our plot kelela ekada point manje tya system chi state ata asa apan jeva manu manje baka apan ata kay karto system apan mathematical form madhe kiwa chart form madhe apan describe karnyacha prayatna karto thermodynamic system madhe ata pudcha point hai ki properties cha ajun ekda aplyala classification karaycha kutlya paddhatine karaycha depending upon the state uh, how that state uh, how the state will changes and whether it depends upon the path of that system so based on that the systems, uh, thermodynamic system are again, uh, or properties rather than system, I can say the properties are classified as a point function and a path function. Suppose in this case, case our initial temperature is shown, uh, this is our initial temperature of the system and there is certain higher value that is nothing but the final temperature. Now, what is mean by the point function? If you take the difference between, suppose let's say this is a uh, 20 degree Celsius. Ti and Tf is 100 degrees Celsius. Then, if I ask, uh, what is the temperature difference between these two points? Then you can directly calculate like 100 minus 20. That is nothing but the 80. So this type of properties, which depends upon the initial and final values, are called as a point function. They does not depend upon the path. To me. Uh, Ya point person, ya point paren, ya path ne zawa, ya path ne zawa, kiwa straight zawa. That doesn't matter. Then this type of properties are called as a point function. And another one is the path function, which does depend upon the path. So there are two such properties that is work and heat. So basically, these properties are. Uh, you know depend upon uh, sorry these properties are depend upon the uh, you can say uh, path of the system followed so uh, here I want to show this uh, just a minute okay so here uh, is nothing but the path of the system the, so, so suppose the system is changing from point 1 to 2 uh, this is nothing but the path of the system and if this path changes then the work done during this process is nothing but the area under this curve that will also change so path functions or proper path properties or path function are such a properties which depends upon the path followed and what is mean by the process in the thermodynamics context that is nothing but the uh, change of one state to another state. Maybe it is the equilibrium state. Eka state person, dusra state la zane. Maybe ya point person, ya point la zane. Ya, ya state change la apan kaya manna re, process manna re. So during this process, there is a change in the pressure, volume, temperature. So, uh, uh, so we will stop now. Now rest of the portion we will cover in the next lecture.